afternoon friends today it's March the 3rd of 2018 and I just want to give you a quick update um I was talking to the president and vice president of media outreach and they have informed me that we are now up to 26 of you wonderful wonderful children of God who realize the invaluable importance of sharing what Jesus Christ accomplished for us on the cross and they have I believe it was 530 love letters that they have sent out and are about to send out a grand total and now we're expecting any day, hopefully, that those of you who started a month ago are about ready to contact us to get your second order of free love letters that is provided by our ministry to help you fulfill your call as a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know as well as I, it gets harder and harder to talk to strangers about Jesus because this world is growing colder and colder because of the lack of the love of God that's in the world. So please contact us. We want to hear from you and we want you to join us in being a mighty army of born again children of God who are handing out love letters and witnessing through that media to the lost people of this world. And I want to share something with you. Last night when I was driving home, uh, I made a 32 minute video and three times now I have tried to upload that video and all three times things has happened which has caused it not to complete the upload. And it's a very enlightening video and I assure you when I when it finally gets uploaded it's going to be titled be rapture ready number 10 no this one's going to be rapture be rapture ready number 10 it's going to be titled be rapture ready 11 and it will also have a subtitle following that that the atheist hopefully will soon open their eyes to reality you know <clears throat> I was watching a documentary if you can call it that of all these scientists and what they are learning about our universe and about trying to figure out about what they call dark matter and it's not you know it, it's it's something that they they can't see they know it's there but they can't see it and they're trying their best to figure out how that all works which is of course way above our heads but they are they they <laughs> They are to the point to where they are saying that for them to go forward in their understanding, they realize that to continue to say that there is not a force outside of the universe that has caused such order and design 
would be foolish for them. So, you know, <laughs> basically, they are admitting that there is a force. There is something outside of the confines of the time, distance, and space, and, and all of that stuff that has brought all of this into being. And one of the guys gave an example, and I can't remember exactly the example he gave. But everything that has a design and that has been designed has a designer. And once something is designed, you need something or someone to create or build what you've designed. It's like this car I'm driving. It's like the phone or the computer. It was designed Then the raw materials were formed and shaped into parts. The parts were assembled, synchronized, and they work together. It's the same way with our human body. It's the same way with the order of the universe. There is laws in this universe and these scientists realize this and they have admitted that they know that just it just doesn't happen it just doesn't happen there was a designer and a creator and the Bible tells us who the designer and the builder and the creator of the universe is. He is known as God. Not that God is his name, but God is who we refer to as the supreme eternal spiritual being that brought forth each one of us and all that is in the universe into existence so it's amazing in fact one of the, the things that was pointed out that in a day and age when the scientists are discovering more and more that proves there is God, atheism is growing at a rapid pace. The proof of God is there. But to remain an atheist, you have to ignore the proof and pretend that it doesn't exist. And therein lies the most terrible tragedy for people who choose to remain faithless and unbelievers in what is so obvious. Well, I'm going to end this video now, but be on the lookout for B, Rapture Ready, number 11. I tell you, it is a very enlightening video. And obviously, <laughs> I tell you, if the old devil can orchestrate things or, or try to throw things in your path, he has done it. The last three times I have tried to upload this video. I'm going to attempt it one more time while I'm at work. And hopefully it will be successful. God bless each one of you. Have a blessed one.